After four years at the Division I level, Taylor Rubin's passion for golf is evident. But unlike some athletes who have played one sport their whole life, Rubin came to golf after her first love fell away. I did play soccer as a kid. I grew up playing uh, this thing called Dream Camps. It was like a co-ed soccer league. Played for a while, tried out for my high school, my middle school soccer team. I was in seventh grade and ended up getting cut. And I cried myself to sleep that night. And my dad was like, all right, let's think about a sport that you want to play. My dad is the type of person who, you want a goal, he'll help you to achieve it 120%. I mean, I couldn't have been more thankful. My dad gave me every tool, every resource that I needed. I know there was one story she used to tell me all the time, how her dad would make her go out in the garage and just have hundreds and hundreds of swings. And just looking back on that, I know that she's so grateful for all of those moments, even though at the time maybe it wasn't the most joyful experience. But looking back, I, I know she's grateful for it. He has such high expectations, but that's a good thing, right? Because he expects this, then she's got to try and match it. So that's been really good. And, you know, as athletes, our parents are just, they love us so much that they're going to be happy no, no matter what. And, and he is but he certainly pushes her and that takes her to that next level. And she's definitely a very strong player and Ira has high expectations of her, so he pushes her. He wanted me to achieve my dream and I did. And he looks back and he's like, Taylor, I couldn't have asked for a better situation. Him pushing me and driving me to be better, it, it's been an amazing journey. He's I, I can't say anything other than he's backed me 120% this whole time. Even when I'm struggling, he's there and picking me up and reminding me of the times where I was crying over something so irrational. He told me something, good job. So he he pushed me hard, but it, it has been the best experience ever. In addition to her role as a senior leader, Ruben goes into her final year, having made a special promise. My grandpa, he was one of the most amazing people in my life. He was the only one at first who was as supportive as my dad was with my golf. So he was always supporting me and always just, every time I saw him, he'd ask me how my game was and just constantly quiz me on it. And he was just so intrigued. He'd come out and watch me when he came into town and practice and I couldn't have asked for a better support system than that. Um, and then this summer, he passed away, and I was, you know, I was knowing I was going into my last season of golf, really. And so um, before he passed away, I told him that I was gonna dedicate my last season to him. And uh, it's emotional, but it's, it's good to know that, like, I know he's watching down on me. But when that happened with Taylor, you could really tell that it affected her tremendously. Um, she doesn't talk about it a lot but I can just see that she's different this year than she has been in, in the past years with her work ethic. She's just taken a different route in her life this year to just improve and, and it's so contagious for me. Just the inspiration she's getting from you know, her grandfather was, you know, it carries on into my life too. I think when you play for someone and you have that in the back of your mind, it makes a different on, difference on the tough holes. So when you're grinding it out, when you're getting close to that point, when you're playing for someone, it brings you back to the present, brings you back to the now, and, and gives you a sense of purpose, and gives you a sense of, hey, come on, let's keep fighting. For me, changing this semester was more of knowing that bad things are gonna happen and I can't control them because, I mean, everyone knows that in a sport. Like, you can't control every aspect of life. But knowing that it's all gonna be okay and that I knew he loved me if it was bad or if it was a good round, so I know that whenever there's a bad day, I'm just going to keep fighting because I know he's looking down on me and he's there to support me no matter what. So I guess that's kind of how I'm looking at it differently, is just thinking it doesn't matter, it's not the end all tell all, like he'll still love me no matter what.